Given a vector u with an x component of four and a y component of negative four, find the magnitude of the vector. The magnitude of a vector is simply the length of the vector from the initial point to the terminal point. So let's go ahead and label the length of this vector here, which is vector u, as the magnitude of vector u. We indicate this using vertical bars or double vertical bars as we see here below. And now if we sketch the horizontal and vertical components of the vector, we can see this is nothing new. This is the same as determining the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. Instead of C though, we use the magnitude of the vector. So the x component is positive four because the change in x or the horizontal displacement from the initial point to the terminal point is right four units. And then from here, the vertical displacement or vertical change is down four units to reach the terminal point, which is why the horizontal component is positive four and the vertical component is negative four. And then using our formula here below, the x component is A and the y component is B, which means the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, which in our case is equal to the square root of four squared plus the square root of negative four. Simplifying, we have the square root of 16 plus 16, which is equal to the square root of 32. Now you may be asked to express the magnitude using a decimal approximation or the exact magnitude. Let's go ahead and show both. For the exact magnitude, we need to simplify the square root of 32. 32 does have a perfect square factor of 16. 16 times two is equal to 32. So we can say the magnitude of vector u is equal to, again, the square root of 32 which is equal to the square root of 16 times the square root of two. The square root of 16 is equal to four. The exact magnitude is four square root two. Let's also get our decimal approximation to let's say two decimal places. Going to the calculator, we can enter the square root of 32 or four square root two to get the decimal approximation. And let's go ahead and show both. Second x squared brings up the square root, 32, enter, or four square root two, of course gives us the same result. Because we have a six in the third decimal place, if we round to two decimal places, the magnitude would round to 5.66. I hope you found this helpful.